Welcome back and let the games begin, the pre-election games that is. As the Biden regime's approval numbers sank lower than Kathy Griffin's comedy tour ticket sales, the left is playing the game of pretending to solve the problems they created, like the border invasion. Yesterday, Senator Upchuck Schumer announced that he was attempting to resurrect the failed bipartisan border bill that was previously blocked by the Republicans and some Democrats. It is a complete betrayal of Americans that legalizes an ongoing invasion, allowing up to 5,000 illegals to enter per day. On top of trying to force through the border invasion legalization bill, DHS Secretary Mayorkas is playing a game of gaslighting by claiming that he has secured the border. Take a listen. Uh, Neil, we, we took action uh, a long time ago, and migration well, this, this is was a just very dynamic in the last week. phenomenon, and we are seeing the results uh, that take time to take hold. Sure, we just need to give it more time for the security measures to take effect. The sad truth is that Biden has been given too much time to transfer our nation over to foreigners who are here by the millions and wreaking absolute havoc. Former Border Patrol agent, co-host of Unrestricted Invasion and author of Invaded, the Intentional Destruction of the American Immigration System, J.J. Carroll, joins us now. J.J., thanks so much for being back with us. It's great to see you. Thank you for having me back on. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, you know, of course they want to push through that border border invasion legalization bill before the election because then it would tie Trump's hands by legalizing up to 5,000 illegals per day, right? What are your thoughts on this? This is insanity. You want to bring in 5,000. That's your goal of success is bringing in 5,000 illegal aliens from across the globe. Listen, Mayorkas is talking on Neil on, on Neil's show. He is a flat-out liar and a traitor to this nation. You have to understand what he's saying. If you go further on in that, that video clip, he actually touts out that he's proud that they have deported 720,000 people. No, he didn't. He just turned back 720,000 people. Now, that sounds like a lot in almost four years until you realize that he has released over 11.2 million people into the United States of America. This guy's a fraud. He has done this intentionally, and he is strategically using illegal immigration to destroy the United States of America. There is no other explanation for it. You're absolutely right. It is 100 percent all by design, and he has to continue to lie to, to cover for himself and, and what the Biden regime has done here. I mean, what else could he possibly do but lie, right? I mean, how else would they find a way out of this mess that they've created? Well, you know what's interesting more on that on that clip that uh, that you showed. If you go farther on it, people that are liars and people that do things maliciously will intentionally slip up every now and then, especially when they're arrogant like him. He actually admitted to going down south into South America, Central America, and building facilities and infrastructure to help this flow of illegal aliens into our country. You can just go through what he systematically has done. And there is no other explanation or conclusion to say that that man is a traitor against our nation. Yeah. He's talking, when you go back and you look at 5,000, he wants to do 5,000, Chuck Schumer wants to do 5,000 a day. When, when Trump left office, we were doing 500 arrests a day, and 500 people were being deported to their home countries, countries that would never, ever take back their people until Trump made them bend a knee. Mm -hmm. We're looking at a mass a mass influx and invasion of milita adult military age men into our nation, and we are going to suffer the co consequences. You're showing it right now. Tell me how those people are going to assimilate from a third world into a first world nation <laughs> when all the money dries up. They're not. They're going to fight us. Yeah, absolutely. They sure will. And it's it's truly terrifying. But I think Americans do understand what's going on. It's a worldwide invasion being orchestrated by the government. Uh, in fact, Bill Malugin just did a report from San Diego's border here. Uh, all of the illegals were military age men and none of them were from Mexico. They were from Pakistan, India, China and Iran. Many of them special interest aliens from terror infested countries. Uh, how much longer can we sustain this? I mean, how much longer can we actually allow this to go on without, you know, fearing for our future? Well, we need to fear for our future right now. The enemy's already been allowed in. 
Yeah. 12 million people have been led into our country just by DHS data. Over 250,000 special interest aliens, those are the men you just showed, and they have been arrested and released. Look, I was down in San Diego filming my documentary. I walked the same area that I, that I spilled blood on to keep America safe. And I'm telling you, those Middle Eastern men that were there, those people from India and from the continent of Africa, they looked at me as if to tell me, get off of my land. This is our, you're trespassing. That's exactly what the feeling is along the border, is they own it now. All those years of blood, sweat, and tears, and pain and anguish fighting back the hordes of humanity on the border, this administration just allowed them to come into America. And you ask, what is, what's the threshold? The threshold has already been crossed. You have tens of thousands of special, tens of thousands of terrorists in our nation to encompass all kinds of people that are not even known as terrorists. You have tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of criminal aliens tied to vicious gangs. You have tens of thousands of special, excuse me, of PLA soldiers from China in America. The enemy is here. They're just waiting for their go orders. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that is it. It is uh, just absolutely disgusting. And, and, you know, our nation is truly orchestrating the importation, too, of Islamic terrorism, fentanyl, and mm -hmm. even child trafficking. Uh, I have a clip of Senator Hawley confronting Mayorkas about child trafficking investigations. Let's go ahead and take a look at that, and then we'll come right back to you. A whistleblower from your agency of Homeland Security Investigations has come to me and has said that special agents who are working on child trafficking cases and fentanyl interdiction cases have been pulled off of their investigations and sent to the southern border. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these agents at a time taken out of the field, taken off child exploitation cases and sent to the southern border. Here's some of what she said. She said, we're being told to shut down investigations to go hand out sandwiches and escort migrants to the shower and sit with them while they're in the hospital and those types of tasks. So after orchestrating the child trafficking itself, they're then abandoning the children so illegals can be served sandwiches. I mean, this is just so absurd. What do you make of this? That's absolutely true. Everything that, that uh, the senator said was absolutely factually true. I know it. I lived it. I worked it. My last year in the Border Patrol was Joe Biden's first year. I saw it all happening under my, under my command. It was sickening. And then I talked to all of my ICE buddies and, and former colleagues in the Border Patrol, and they say, that's absolutely, it goes on today. You have special investigators investigating drug trafficking, child sex trafficking, all kinds of human trafficking. They're handing out sandwiches. 80% of the border is unmanned, meaning there's not a single Border Patrol agent on the border. All of our northern checkpoints are closed. It's a free-for-all. And I've got to tell you this, too. After everything that I've seen and done and then I'm, I'm traveling on my documentary, I am going to tell you the sad fact is that our federal government, in connection and, and, and partnership with NGOs, have created an industrial-sized conveyor belt or assembly line from the Daring Gap to every corner of America. They have been streamlined, and they are so efficient right now that it's, it actually boggles me, makes me, makes me pause because I'm, it's jarring to me how successful they have become at bringing in people into America. They're flying them in the, in the dark of night. They're allowing them through CBP-1 app. They're allowing to pour across the border. There's no one doing any enforcement, drugs, child sex trafficking. You name the ill and the sin, it is here in America simply because our leaders have facilitated it and welcomed it. Yeah, it, it sure is sickening. And, you know, the fact that Americans are being replaced by these invaders should outrage literally everyone. Uh, but but this is a fact. This is happening, which is why they're being given all kinds of freebies like, you know, housing and meals and whatnot. Uh, I know you have a new documentary coming out called What is Treason? I actually have a clip of it that I want to play and then we will come right back to you. Okay. Now, the shuttered club near the Dixon federal building is being used to house over 761 asylum seekers, a number that could grow to as many as 1,200 in the coming months. 1,200 migrants. And we're well, well past 1,200. I guarantee you that. Now check this out. And we are rolling out the red carpet to them. 
while meanwhile, right next door, 10 feet away, 50 feet away, 100 feet away, there are American veterans sleeping on the streets in tents in absolute squalor. So this is from Chicago in which a 15-story building has been remodeled, remodeled excuse me, to house illegals, all of course while veterans and other Americans sleep on our streets in squalor. Yes, absolutely. That was my, that's my partner, Ryan Matta. We went to Chicago because we know that's the epicenter. We literally were walking through an area that is like a tent compound for U.S. citizens. Tents are torn up. The, 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 the stench from human feces and, and urine on the floor, the living in squalor, homeless, mental illness, and literally, literally 200 feet away is the intake center in these beautiful white tents where we house, clean, feed, medicate illegal aliens, and then we put them on warming buses in the winter to make sure they're comfortable. Do you know that our men and women that are in those tents, they started to get frostbite this, this winter? They were actually, if you can imagine this picture, knocking on the city buses while illegal aliens sat in there staying warm and comfortable, eating freshly prepared meals, and our brothers and sisters were actually knocking on the door to say, please let me in. And they were denied entrance because you can't get on the bus unless you're an illegal alien. I went down to the inner city of Chicago. I am telling you, the black citizens and residents of inner city Chicago are about to, and this is their term, not mine, go to war. Because the, our federal government has flooded hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans Single adult military age men from Venezuela and every other country across the globe, but mainly Venezuelans, in the inner city. And they are systematically replacing and removing black Americans from their homes and putting illegal aliens in. Why would you ask? Because each illegal alien has $9,000 of rent assistance tied to them <laughs> while they kick black Americans out. And they all tell me from the low level gangsters, the high level gangsters, to street priesters. And to politicians, they say Chicago is going to burn. It's going to be a war. And then you have to ask yourself, everyone knows this. This is why the, the DNC is most likely, and it already came out, said they are going to cancel their, their convention in August. Yeah. Well, why? Because you know you set a powder cake and it's going to explode. Yeah, uh, the future is absolutely terrifying to, to consider when you know these facts that are indeed happening. I'm so glad and so grateful you went out there to expose the truth uh, of what's going on in Chicago. So thank you for that. And, you know, we can rail on Biden and Mayorkas all we want all day long. But I think, too, it's important to remember we can't let the GOP off the hook, can we? I mean, they're no. equally complicit here. They're absolutely complicit. Tell me one thing they have done in three and a half years. Yeah. Tell me. We had, we've had two speakers. Nothing. Nothing's been done. They are complicit. What has Jim Jordan, Jordan done? He's done nothing. The only person that has said anything and tried to do anything is Congresswoman Green and maybe Chip Roy. Everyone else is complicit. And then you have to ask yourself, why? Why would your federal government intentionally destroy you by bringing in right now, everyone agrees, there's 40 five million illegal aliens in our country. That's almost one in six residents in the United States of America is an illegal alien. Yeah. Tell me how that ends well for us. It certainly doesn't. And uh, that is why it's incredibly disappointing to know that our own government is orchestrating this and those on our side uh, are pushing it as well. Very, very sad times. But again, we're so grateful for you exposing the truth here. JJ Carroll, we are all out of time for today. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the time, Allison. Thank you. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.